A heparin bolus, which is a loading dose, has been ordered for an ICU patient suffering from a pulmonary embolism, a blood clot in their lung. Uh, the heparin comes from the pharmacy as 25,000 units of heparin in 500 milliliters of D5W. The heparin protocol calls for a loading dose of 80 units of heparin per kilogram of patient body weight. And the patient weighs 95 kilograms and 290, 209 pounds. How many milliliters will be given? Because the question is how many milliliters, the answer is how many milliliters. And because the answer is how many milliliters, milliliters must be in the numerator or on top of the fraction when we solve this, when we set this up. So there's my milliliter unit, uh, 25,000 units in 500 milliliters, and we can either write that as 25,000 units over 500 mils, which is what it'll say on the pharmacy, but we can turn that over and say 500 mils over 25,000 units, and by doing that, by putting the 500 mils over the 25,000 units, I can put milliliters in the numerator where it belongs, because milliliters is the question, Milliliters is the answer, and because milliliters is the answer, milliliters must be in the numerator or on top of the fraction when we set this up. Well, the next thing I want to do uh, is cancel this little heparin unit out right there. So the protocol calls, calls for a loading dose of 80 units of heparin per kilogram. So by putting the 80 units on top and the kilograms underneath, now my, I have a unit, a heparin unit over a heparin unit, and those units cancel out because a unit over a unit is equal to one and one times anything is equal to itself. And I'm, I'm left with the units milliliters per kilogram. But the question wasn't how many milliliters per kilogram, the question is how many milliliters. So I need that kilogram unit to cancel out. So notice my patient weighs 95 kilograms. By putting the 95 kilograms in the numerator right here, notice my kilograms cancel out a kilogram over a kilogram is equal to one. And now the only unit that has not canceled out is milliliters, which is what the answer is supposed to be. So 95 times 80 times 500 divided by 25,000 is 152 milliliters.